Let's do this and look at this. Also mods, if you want to do gear command for this one. So, here's what we're using on this character. Um, obviously, before we had the uh, gemmed demon crossbow, this was hitting at insane speeds. But the damage was much lower. Um, so we've upgraded damage purposes to slow down one frame. So this hits at 3.4 frames. Um, and so you're getting you know, about seven, eight uh, attacks in per second with it. And then um, it's much more damage, obviously. So I have an Eth Tomb Reaver, two shales to reach 100 IAS, which is the needed weapon IAS to reach that three. Otherwise, if you have 90 IAS or 80 or anything lower on the weapon, then you're gonna hit, and this is for the Cryptic Axe, right, for the Tomb Reaver, then you're gonna be hitting um, the 4.4 .4, uh, frames per attack. So I wanna get into the broken frames, which is down in the three. This was hitting at 2.2, but again, the damage was super low. So we have an Eth Tomb Reaver with Shale Shale Zod. We have Jalal's Umd for Res. We have High Lords, Fortitude, Drax, Ravenfrost, String of Ears, uh, a really nice dual leech ring with some res and dex, and then gore riders, and of course a bunch of max damage, lifer, you know, everything. Small charms, a little bit of resistance in there, a nihilus, and a druid torch. And then of course CT on swap with the spirit, and here is my spec. So, maxed out Wolverine. Grizzly, one there, and then working on Feral Rage. Max, max, max. Yeah, and so all my reds are max right now, and it's good. So, let's do some Ubers. Let me get some keys, and we can do some Ubers. Woof. Once more with less talking. Well, just don't clip all the explanation part. Just clip the like final part. That's all. Perfect. Okay. Then we'll go here. So, he's not 100% built for Ubers right now. Using a rib cracker, I think, would put me on either four frames or five frames. But, obviously, with the 50% crushing blow and all that stuff, it's, like, a little bit better for Ubering to do that. Also, the attack rating is a little bit low for this character. Um, I feel like being able to run the Angelic set would be really nice. Or having... Um, you know, like a Cerebus Bite on could be really nice. Uh, something like that. But, eh, you know. We're not going for maximum perfection on this Ubering build. Also, I don't have, like, T-Gods, which would definitely be better here. Um, we're not going for maximum perfection. We're just going for having a little bit of fun. And seeing uh, how well he does with this new weapon. So let's spread them out. And let's go to the sands. Yeah, so you can definitely see the chance to hit is a little bit, a little bit low. Only 13k attack rating, 73% chance to hit. And obviously being slow doesn't super fun. Paka, thank you. But otherwise, eh, you know, girl's not too bad there. I just need a little bit more dexterity, I believe, and then I can actually drop that off and put on angelics which I think would help a lot just to like hit twice so I might switch out 
my Annie for a better Annie prior to this. And maybe that'll be, because I need how much? I only need 93 dexterity. Oh, actually, I think I should be okay. Wait a second. 93, I have 92. And I have a better torch. Or different torch. A little bit lower resistance, so that's unfortunate, but. 18, 20, 19, 13, 14, 20, 14, 2016. All right, let's use the 2016 for now. Now we can take this off. And we can run Angelics. Cool. Now we have a lot more attack rating. Much better. So now we should be able to hit a lot more. <laughs> yeah. Because we hit super, super fast. I mean, that is one thing with this character, right? We are hitting still at broken frame levels. Ugh, oh, my res are just shy now of perfect. Why is my light res so bad? Oh, because that ring gave a lot of light res. Ooh. That's not going to be good for Mephisto. Hmm. That won't be great for Mephi. So uh, let me think. T gods and Wisp. Do okay. You want to jump to us, Mephisto? Come here. Teleport. Not feeling it. We could proc with a treachery first. That is true. I can also check for some some light res charms. Yeah, that speed and hit chance is a lot better. That's a lot better. Okay. Yeah, like I say, this isn't the... Flesh Hunter's hard to kill. The strongest, because I definitely still believe uh, that using Ribcracker is stronger, but I still think this is a very fun way going for the really broken IS frames. Because like I say, that's the whole reason that we're, we're rocking this all right now. This whole character's purpose is to be broken IS frames. Get away from this stuff. bad. I mean, the amount of life tap plus um, life steal this character has. Also, that animation is just a glitch in the game with uh, the summons. They get really like flashy all over the screen. It's awful. Yeah, definitely missing some crushing blow. Damage overall, flat damage is actually pretty solid. The Owl's Horn. Not shabby. Salutations. 
Alright, that was pretty smooth. And let's look at charm. When you do you plan on updating your Patreon? Right now it just says coming soon for each tier. That sounds accurate. Uh, I guess I'll put that away. Light res. Light res. That's nice. No. Light res. Fire res. I mean, actually, I could use some a little more fire. We're just gonna kind of rock up the resistances here if we can. Let's put this over here and this over here. And. All right, that's good enough. Let's do it. Let's do it. Why not? What's the worst that could happen? I mean, we know what the worst is. All right. Minus 35 light res. That's good. I need you to proc for me, please. Really? Finally! Good lord! Life tap, man. Drax did not want to cooperate. Almost full killed without the proc at all, I know. My brothers will That's not fair. Come here. Bale's actually super annoying. This is the mana. Mana burning. Stay away, stupid spirit. Gosh dang it. Ugh. Dang, mana burn. Oh no, my poor probe. 
Is my open wounds like not proccing or what's going on? Afternoon. I need mana. My credits will not have died in vain. No, I mean, he's healing, man. He is out healing me. How am I not hitting him? I have so much attack rating. My DPS is solid, but man. I just cannot hit him to save my life. Did more damage with the demon crossbow? I mean, we did swing very fast with the demon crossbow. There we go. Just had to get in a better spot. Rib cracker is uh, much nicer. Use angelic ring and ammy? You mean like this? <laughs> yeah. I know what I'm doing, guys. I promise. <laughs> Eat him. He actually takes care of the uh, minions really well. Like, this wasn't the fastest kill by any means of the Ubers, but man, was it safe. Really just, oops. Really just felt uh, super safe there, man. I mean, Bill, Bill wasn't stressful. Mephisto, honestly, didn't even feel that stressful. Not too bad. All right, what's your bets, everybody? What's it going to be? Uh. SFLO4206 gifted a tier one sub to Netcoded. Thanks, SFLO, Guia, Steve Alpaca. Place your bets. It is da, 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 2016 Sorceress. Wow. Poggers. I think I have another one. Yeah, I do. Not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. That's for the mod giveaway? Is that, is that the thing? So, overall, didn't really equip myself for the Ubers. You know, we're using a lot more like damage gear and not really, you know, I mean, probably getting into the Cerebus Bite and having this for the big bonus AR, having uh, Rib Cracker, obviously a big massive boost. Um, Tea gods, whatever stuff. You know, maybe just some goblin toes to, to kind of boost that up a little bit. I could even have thrown Giyamis on if I wanted for the crushing blow deadly strike. You know, there's there's some things that we could have done to improve the speed overall, but 
I think he did the Ubers quite well. And that's not even really, in my opinion, the strength of this IES build and the way that we've built nope. it. What I actually find is his strength is just kind of murdering everything. And he can actually kill really fast on player's eight as well. I'm actually extremely surprised. I mean, he does 12K damage there. Um, and I'm actually just extremely pleasantly surprised at how well he does. I mean, I'll make a game, Llama, uh, Llama 1, Password 1. And if we can do some cows in here, I'd love to see him, like, move around for cows. But if people can, like, come in, I think I need the waypoints. I don't know if I have the quest, actually. <gasps> I don't. All right, so maybe we can't do that exactly. Um, but, eh, maybe someone else can make cows. But, like, this is player's eight. And, I mean, just watch how easily he just comes in here and just slaughters. And, like, obviously this isn't, like, a strong group or anything. But that's pretty good for player's eight. Can't carry anymore. Like... That's pretty good. You know? Like, dude attacks insanely fast. <laughs> Conviction souls. I'll pass on that one. Did somebody make cows? Uh, dark wood? Okay. And souls are, like, actually kind of hard to, to kill. As well. But... His, his speed and, and everything is still brokenly fast. His damage is still really good. Player's eight, like I said, and he is not having issues whatsoever. And the survivability is just so high. I mean, he has so much life steal. The life tap on top of it. The feral rage on top of all that. This is a very survivable character. Hardcore friendly, for sure, I would say. For sure. Let me come back and let's see. Uh, where's the tree? Come on. Alright. Let's let me see some cows. Good day. That damage is not good. 15k hammers, two shots that in player's eight. Cool, hammers are broken. Yeah, we know. <laughs> what do you want? Hammers are insanely strong. It's great. <laughs> We've known this for 20 years, bro. I guess we should save Kane. But no, like, it very much is. I am very impressed at how well this build is doing. The speed, of course, is also amazingly over the top fantastic, which is super nice. And uh, let's see some, like, Player's A cows. I mean, it's not bad. Not bad. Is it as fast as a Javazon? No. But for a melee build, this, I mean, I'm not having any. I'm just like running in there and he's just. The thing is, he leeches so well. So very well. That's honestly the craziest part. Is you can just be in the middle of like all of this. And just look at the leeching, like. <laughs> and I don't even have a mercenary or anything right now. You know? I don't even have a might mercenary built yet, which will increase the damage a lot and help out. 
this is just, uh, yeah, it's kind of beautiful. Yeah. So, anyways, this is the druid. Um, said I think I talked a little bit about his stuff at the beginning, kind of the skill tree, where all that stuff is out, where we're at with all the resistances and things. Oh, I need to change out a couple pieces. Um, and uh, and the items there. Pretty solid. Pretty solid for sure. I like them. Yeah, like I say, the rib cracker would still be a very solid um, character here. And, and very good, but it's a little slower. And my whole point of creating this character is to create something that can't be made in Diablo 2 Legacy. Which is a character that swings this fast. <laughs> yeah, this is an IAS frame build. And it's uh, because of all the IAS, it actually becomes an insanely big survivability build as well. Right? No, proc build is not going to work very well in this character, unfortunately. Unfortunately, not going to work very well. Purely because it's all about really that weapon speed and rift and destruction have no IAS, and so he's just going to be insanely slow. So getting a faith with that, I probably could reach. Um, I probably could reach one like little bit more. I'd, I'd have to check the calculator and see. I would have to check the calculator and see. It's all. Yeah, it only works with Sin well because, exactly, her burst of speed and things like that, so. This character is made and honestly is quite beautiful. This is a, this is a really strong, really fun character. He's gonna be able to fight most everywhere in the game. Another very solid character for sure. 